presentation of something that's really wrong, so bear with me. This is just like really bad. So many anthropologists um, say, agree that humans actually originated from Africa. They studied various human uh, races to evaluate any pattern, and then they found out that actually humans come from a small tribe in Africa. So in a way, we could say that Africa unites everyone. It unites all of humanity. Like most African countries, my country, Sudan, was colonized by the British. And I think it's so important to know the importance of colonization and globalization because it affects African culture. Ideas of European superiority were so powerful during colonization times um, to the extent that these ideas are still prevalent today embedded in African culture and society. And the really sad part is, is that the younger generations are still, um, they still think that everything uh, that does with their heritage and their, ba and their, everything that does with their history and their heritage is backward and everything that's related to Western ideals is a sign of progress. However, however, I came here to say that this is not necessarily true. There can be progress in Africa, just a progress with heritage and with our culture. And this is why I'm so happy that we're here celebrating African culture. Thank you. Bambalela, oh Bambalela, Bambalela. 
in Africa, which have Cats College students. Okay. So, where are Cats African students from? Here's some Arabs. So that's Libya. We have Moad and Ahmed. That's Nigeria. You know most of the Nigerians. <laughs> um, that's... Are you? Zambia. Yeah. And, and South, South Africa. Africa. Alan. Alan. Take our word for it. No <laughs> argument. Um, okay, so first, this is Libya. In Libya, there's some famous things about it. Its flag was recently changed. Before it was just a green patch, which was really confusing. Now it's <laughs> the red, black, and green. These are the um, Roman, Greek, ancient buildings, also known as Old New Libya. I'll explain. Basically, the ancient Libyan rulers were kind of harsh and they had they adopted a lot of Roman and Greek culture. So I'm sure the Italians would know this is similar to most of their ancient counterparts. And 
these are some famous sites in Libya. Also, they have their own sneakers, which is pretty cool because I don't think any of us have sneakers. Um, the next country is Angola. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So, hi, I'm Mario. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Angola, and Angola is a Portuguese-speaking country uh, due to the fact that Portugal colonized Angola. And though, and here on the left side, we have what is called the Baia de Luanda, which is situ situated in the capital of Angola, called Luanda. And it's very beautiful. When if you ever go see it, it's gorgeous on sunset. Uh, over here is called it's the small island of Musulu, also in Angola, which many people usually take for vacation, and they spend a lot of time there. Here's a famous animal. I don't know the name in English, but in Portuguese it's called an impala, <coughs> an antelope, uh, which in Angola. It's rare to find them because they're almost dead, extinct, but you can still find a few. Here is this is a small city called, uh, in Angola they call it the city of trash, because uh, that's where the poorest people in the country live, and the city, most of the houses are entirely made up of trash, and recently there have been a lot of charities trying to get money to raise money for them to build their houses. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so um, this is Zambia and I know you guys don't know much about Zambia and when people say Zambia you're like where on earth is this? It's in southern Africa and uh, we have lots of wildlife as you can see you can go on walking safaris with lions and cheetahs I've done it before it's amazing um, we have the famous Victoria Falls one of the seven wonders of the world and uh, down in the corner we have our our Zambian food called pap or inchima. Um, you can eat it with beans or meat or spinach or anything you prefer really. Um, we have in the middle down here, uh, which is our city. Uh, it's not very pretty because it's a developing country, but yeah. And over here we have our Zambian football team with Rich Jeffrey will not agree with me that I should have put the picture there because they only won the Afghan Cup of Nations two years ago. And that's um, kind of like our traditional clothing and our flag in the top right corner. So now for Nigeria, unknown to Alia, I added that Nigeria the current victories of the African World Cup. <laughs> and also, I know when you hear about most African countries, you just assume it's village, Ebola, and all the <laughs> <laughs> So I'm trying to say that there's more to it. Like, we have some famous footballers, Victor Moses, Mikalobi, Aminike, Russians will know him better. They are like, Nice places, clubs and other events, places you can go to. We are famous for a Calabar Carnival, which is the main tourist attraction. People come all the way from Brazil especially to see the March Pass and other things. Um, other famous musicians, some of which you might know, like Big Sean, come to Nigeria to perform. Big Sean, Tiny Temper, Chris Brown and Nicki Minaj. Also. There's some nice Nigerian food which you're going to eat later at the end of this presentation. I know we're boring, you just wait a little. <laughs> and there's some cool rocks. Believe it or not, this is even where our president's office is. This huge rock. Hard to believe. And that's pretty much it.
the steak, getting you guys all excited for nothing. But yeah, basically, um, I wasn't informed that we were only supposed to do one slide, so I kind of made my own presentation. So, I'll tell you guys about South Africa, and uh, believe it or not, that's where I'm from. Um, we're located in the um, south of Africa, that's the name. And basically, like the top is a boring. So the national anthem, we actually have five languages alone, just in our national anthem. So we have three capitals, I don't know why, we like to be special. So we have Johannesburg, where I'm from, Pretoria, and then Cape Town. And we actually have um, 11 official languages. Again, I don't know why. But um, <laughs> like most people, when they ask me about, about, like, about South Africa, they ask me about the language with the clicks. <coughs> there isn't really a language where you only do clicks. But Kosa is the one with a few clicks. Yeah. So that's kind of like basic stuff. So, like, we don't all dress like this every day. <laughs> but like, this is kind of like, if you're going to talk about South African attire, that's what it would be like. This one especially here, that was uh, Nelson Mandela's brand. So if you ever like watch a video with Nelson Mandela in it, he's always got like really fancy, like out there kind of shirts. And then he had his own brand for that. Um, so where I'm from, that's Johannesburg. We have like five different names, Josie, Joburg, Johnny, Igoli, and Joey's. That's a few sites, a few places. That's a music video, we'll get to that later. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically in South Africa, we really like our sports. Our number one sport would have to be rugby, because it's the only one we're good at. We're actually like second in the world, so that's pretty impressive. Um, that team's called the Springboks. Then, obviously, with South Africa, uh, we have majority black population, and the most popular sports there is actually soccer. And our soccer team is called Bafana Bafana. Um, but unlike Nigeria, we don't actually have any famous football players. We do have Chabalala. That's the only guy I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Proteus, which is a cricket team. But no one likes cricket. So. Yeah, and then some sites. So there's Botanical Garden in Johannesburg. That's the uh, Table Mountain in Cape Town. That's Soccer City, Johannesburg. Again, Soccer City. That's actually Sun City, which is another holiday destination. And then, of course, it's Africa, so we're known for having animals. We don't actually have animals in our back gardens. Like, most people ask me if I ride a lion to school. <laughs> like, if I have giraffes in my back garden eating my trees. But that doesn't happen. We actually have roads. And, like, we're actually quite modernized, surprisingly. But yeah, so like these animals, you can actually, like, unlike Zambia, you can't really go walking with the lions because they'll eat you. So you have to look at them from cars. And yeah, that's Robben Island. So that's where Nelson Mandela was imprisoned when he was uh, in prison. <laughs> and, uh, finally, one of the most popular things in South Africa would have to be the big five, which is the five like most popular animals. If you ever go to South Africa and you go to Kruger National Park, yes. these are the five that you'll go looking for. So, in a, so we got the rhino, the elephant, the lion, the water buffalo, and the leopard. And the leopard usually is probably the best one to look for because it's also the hardest to find. So that's kind of like a challenge if you guys ever go to South Africa. If you ever go to the Kruger National Park, try to find the leopard. Okay.